lunch date with the girls today. Gotta have sunscreen. I've been soaking it off for 10 minutes, actually 15. <laughs> And we're gonna use the Lisa Eldridge's in number nine. Here, out of the way, almost. And the mirror to help. The middle of my face is what needs the most, so I'm gonna concentrate on that. You get buildable coverage with this one, and it's definitely um, something that does not suck the life out of you. It's kind of matte, but not too matte. It depends on your skin type, of course, too. One pod, it's enough for, I'd say at least three uses. If you use a brush, it's definitely gonna eat up more of your product. If you do it with your fingers, you'll probably get the most, um, most product for most uses. Just a little underneath to bring down the color. A little bit here, a little bit here. And I think we might just be done, but just a tiny bit here. There, see that coverage? That pimple is almost gone. Not all the way gone, but definitely so much better. That looks gorgeous, really nice. Okay, I am going to not set it with the drying powder, but I am going to set it with this finishing powder from Hourglass. Um, I'm just gonna dip into both of them. I'm gonna take this bronzer here. Let's get the hair pretty. I'm gonna get this brush, I'm gonna get this bronzer here, add some dimension, blend, blend, blend. Then I'm gonna take this blush here in the middle. It's the one that's um, shimmery and it's really pretty. It's my favorite out of both. No matter how much I try to keep the hair pretty, it just needs to get out of the way. Maybe when we work on hair, on, a, on eyes. Oh gosh. <laughs> it's how pretty that is. This makes your cheeks look juicy. This makes them look nice. Soften up, not that they need it much. All right, a little bit of highlighter from here. The same one, this is the uh, elephant. Just a bit, because it's quite potent actually. Tiny bit here, tiny bit here. Okay. And probably done with the face right now. Let's do eyebrows. Um, I just got this, well, I got it for my birthday, for my girlfriend from Kosas. And it's in dark brown. Yes, dark brown. I'm gonna first just brush my um, eyebrows up just to kind of get off any kind of product that I may have on and also to just see what we're working with. Brush is really nice. And then, of course, we're gonna fill it in. I like that it's so thin. I mean, look at that tip. And it's, um, it's like a wedge, like a triangle, but very small. I usually go up top here first because they are quite sparse on top. It's like they didn't get the memo like the other ones did. 
the color matches me really well like really well you can see I only did it on top and a little bit underneath and it just blends in right away this one doesn't need much to fill in just a bit okay let's see now I'm gonna use this 24 hour setter from Benefit. And let's set it. Because we need the setting, especially this one. This one just goes down. Down, down, down. So I'm, um, I don't know if this one goes first or not, but I'm actually looking into lamination done at home. And um, I might just do it because. I think it's gonna really make my life easier if it turns out right. So I guess we'll check it out together. We'll figure it out together if it does or not. But that's the fun of it, right? Trying on things. Okay. And those are the brows. I almost feel like I need more on that side because this one seems dark even though I just don't do as much on this one as I do on this one. It just goes to tell, goes to show how much different they actually are. Oh goodness, okay. Let's just fix that. They look a lot alike. Oh, I used a different one, didn't I? Yep, I picked up whatever was down there, which was benefit. I guess we're combining today. It's that type of day. All right, and then the fun part, the eyes. So I'm thinking to do something not too much, but not too little either. Something cute, uh, but something fun. So I'm grabbing this, uh, oops, there we go. I'm grabbing this motherhood palette. The, um, hmm, which one do I do? Yeah, let's do this one because I really like this one. Well, I like both of them actually. Do you have both of them? Talk about these ones. Um, did you pick any of them up? I picked them up both and actually, I'm, I gotta say I'm really surprised with how much I actually like both of them, which I was not, I was not thinking that I was going to. I think I'm gonna do this copper today because I didn't get a chance to play with it. So I'll do that. All right, so I'm gonna take, first of all, I'm gonna take these Miss Shady Lady uh, from MOTD. I'm gonna dip into these brown. Well, it's actually not brown. It's very, very potent. I just dipped dipped in there and it's just so, so dark. Um, it's the um, kind of like a burgundy almost. I really want to do very little because I'm afraid this is very, very pigmented. Look. Underneath the eye, just on the lash line, three quarters in. Ooh, that's pretty. Same on the other eye. All right, and now I'm gonna just take these, I'm gonna do it with my finger though. Um, this copper one down here, the last one, it is so pretty, I'm gonna show you. Well, first of all, let me show you the, uh, the matte one. And then that's the, that's the other one. And then we're also gonna use this one in the inner corner, the first one. But yeah, so pretty and just they go a long way. All right, so I'm gonna take it on my finger, just that, um, that copper one. Let them all. That is stunning. Especially for this time of year, it is absolutely Beautiful. The other eye. Even though I gotta say, I liked it like this too. 
like just a little bit of a crease and then just lighter part left like that. Whew. Really looks nice. All right, I'm gonna take a brush though for for this light part. We'll see. So I do want to just keep it here. And you know what? I'm gonna put it just a tiny bit here too. You know, what? I'm gonna go with the finger though. Doesn't really want to go good with a brush. Oops, they are so soft. I feel like I'm digging in, especially the difference from the matte one to the um, really shimmery ones or glittery because there's glitter in there too. It's such a difference that it definitely makes it feel like you're digging in, even though you apply the same pressure. All right, I'm going to use my finger so that I can just, I'm just going to put it right in the middle just to attract some light in there. Make the eye look bigger. Just that. You see how much just that does? Just in the middle. Keep it in there. It's kind of like, imagine the, the river or the lake with the sun shining right in the middle. It makes it look so pretty. That's just kind of how I see it. <laughs> I don't know if it's right or not. It's just how I see it. It's just how I do. All right. I ran across, but I don't think I had anything much in there. And I'm going to leave it as is. Now, the only thing that I want to do is kind of line a bit. If I can find my liner brush there. This one. Um, straight to the point, MOTD. It's just a kind of angled brush. And I'm going to place it in that mat that we did in the crease. And I'm just gonna start lining from the middle out, kind of, where my iris, middle of my iris is kind of, almost. I think it really makes a big difference. And down here, just the length of my brush, that's it. And I do like to kind of pull out on it, just to extend that light, the, <laughs> Not the light, extend the line like that, like so. Same thing here. Do you see the difference? All right, I'm just gonna run right here, my finger just to smooth out, kind of make it soft. And then mascara, and then we're done. I'm gonna use these Ilia, I think it's almost gone. That's kind of like why I'm doing it over and over. Just cause I know the time is coming and um, I wanna get rid of it. So let's do this one. You want to pull on your lashes a bit on an angle once you get to the edge here just to make sure that you're not shortening your eye you're making it kind of elongated and it just makes it look super nice bigger unless you want to achieve the opposite of course if you want to achieve it to where you make less like your eye is smaller if you have like big eyes and you're complaining about it but I love big eyes, so I don't think that if you had big eyes, you would complain about it, but if you do, you know, we all have different type tastes, then definitely bring them in. Or at least let them straight, not just, you know, pull on them. Okay, guys, um, cleaned them all up, and this is what we're looking at. So this is it. I think it turned out really nice. It's girly, but not too girly. It is kind of fallish, but not too much. I think it's defined. The uh, skin looks nice. That's, that foundation is amazing, really. It really does good. And anything else? 
Um, yeah, maybe some lips. Let's do... What should we do? Let's do Gospel from Fit Glow Beauty. I do have something on, but it's kind of cleared up. There we go. Let me get some mirror. Oh, yeah. Really nice with the eye. Kind of plays in. Yeah, I like it a lot. Like a lot. I'm liking a lot of colors from Vidgo. But anyways, guys, this is what we're looking at. This is the um, lunch with the girls. Just a fun... Um, I don't know what you want to call it. Just a fun play look. Thanks so much for spending some time with me. I appreciate you being here and spending time with me. Uh, cheers if you have coffee or if you have something else. Tea, whatever. Wine, a beer.